Hi, I'm Danielle, and we're in our last day of our study of Ruth. We're in Ruth chapter four. This is the culmination of her story. Ruth has had a really hard life. She lost her husband of 10 years. She left the homeland that she knew and moved to a different country to follow her mother-in-law. But all along the way, she made some really tough decisions that God used to bless both her and Naomi. So she meets Boaz, and this is kind of where we're picking up the story, right? Boaz did the right thing, even though he loved Ruth. He was in search of who her kinsman redeemer was. Now, this is a practice that we don't really have today, but Boaz knew that there was a closer relative in relation to Naomi that would be in line before him. So he did the right thing and he went to the court at that particular day and he found this man and he he laid it all out before him. He said, hey, there's this field that belongs to a widow who's relative of yours, do you wanna redeem it? And the guy that we don't know, he says, yeah, sure. Until he finds out that it comes with a marriage to Ruth. And then this man turns it down and through the transaction of giving a shoe, Boaz becomes married to Ruth, which was really what he wanted all along. Now Boaz and Ruth, they get married and Ruth gives birth to a son. This son they name Obed. Now, when we look at genealogy, genealogy is so important. Maybe you've even done some research on your own genealogy to find out who your great grandparents were, or maybe even farther down the line. Well, we get to have a really unique bird's eye view as to where Obed's genealogy goes. Then Naomi took the child, laid him in her lap and cared for him. The women living there said, Naomi has a son and they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. And when we fast forward to the New Testament, we find out that David was not only the one that killed Goliath, that became a great king of Israel, he also becomes a descendant from which Jesus came from. Ruth had such a hard life, but God met her in the midst of the hardest moments she walked through. And he transformed her life. And then not only did he leave her in that transformation, but he used that moment to bless generations. From that line, God chose to give his only son to be a part of her story. What's so amazing is Jesus is actually our kinsman redeemer, the same person that Boaz was to Ruth. From their genealogy and their line, we receive our redeemer, Jesus, who came to rescue us. So in the middle of a really hard year, Maybe you've had some really tough moments, but we can look to the fact that Jesus is there to rescue us, to save us, to redeem us, and to give us that love that we yearn for. Thank you so much for joining us in the study of Ruth this past week. I hope that you learned something new about yourself or about God, or maybe even about the seasons that you're going through.